G'day guys, my name is Deadman, and if you watched our last video, you would see that um, we had a little bit of an accident. We uh, <laughs> snapped one of these, so it's not too bad. It's only a, what, I think this was six bucks. So the other thing is I accidentally, not accidentally, I uh, didn't pay close enough attention to a video um, of somebody's and he was running the 40 weight oil um, and apparently it's not good for these shocks because if it's um, if the oil's too thick and the shock spring's not strong enough it won't be able to push it back up I think I got that right learning all right um, so we got 30 weight shock oil from Traxxas uh, which again was just cheap I think this is 30 weight yeah 30 weight right there um, another small issue is I can't bash at the moment because I when I was putting the motor back in I've accidentally um, stripped one of the screws uh, oh crap if I move these out of the way whoops there we go now that should be close enough for you you can see the lovely red light on the GoPro um, I've got that on so that I know when it's recording when I'm out um, just in there that one there has stripped uh, on the inside uh, if you know of a way of getting it done it'll be great because uh, the hobby shop that I con contacted today he said bring it in but a lot of the time there is no way of doing it um, I have seen a way of doing it on the internet which if he turns around and says no it can't be done um, I'm not very good with power tools but uh, I guess I'll have to give it a go uh, if he's unwilling to do it and we do have quite a thick plate here too so I shouldn't damage the motor uh, hopefully I've got enough space to get these out so then I've got some space to get in there to do it because uh, it needs a little bit of room but fix what we can for today so that we don't take our car to the hobby shop more broken than it already is um, Oh, one more thing too. Uh, where is it? Is it there? No. This is lines all the way through this. You can see it on the video, and this is where I noticed that um, there, there was a black, clear black line going all the way around after the first run. Uh, and there it is. There's a bit of a hole. So, um, I don't know if I'll run these tomorrow morning. Uh, which is when uh, they're doing more speed runs. Um, if I run these, they'll probably finish blowing out, which, I mean, is no loss because you can't really use them anyway. Um, but I do have some second hand ones that are pretty bold and would probably take a run or two uh, before they explode, and then I'll have to get. Um, Anacondas, which I'll probably be ordering on Friday, but they'll be tracks as Anacondas and not um, Proline. So, um, all we have to do is take that off, that off, and put the new one on. Then we need to take off all our shocks, top and bottom screws, and drain them out, then refill them, and put them back on. Sounds easy. Let's go.
this area, camera guard. But all we need to do now, uh, I finally got this one in. Uh, you might have seen me fumbling a little bit. Um, but that's in, that's on, Ty needs to go back on, and that's finished. Um, so all I need to do now is take off the shocks. I'll show you doing one so that you can see whether I stuff it up or not. Um, and if I do, let me know. Um, but this is the way that I've seen it done and I still don't know if I'm doing it correctly or not. So, let's just get this one off. Oh, um, and the little scrolling thing at the... Wait a minute, the camera's facing this way, so at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> um, you'll see um, subscribers that subscribe this week. The one, if your name hasn't appeared and you're watching this video, uh, the main reason is because you've got your subscriptions hidden. And if your subscriptions are hidden to people on um, the YouTubes, you won't see your name because I don't know that you've subscribed, I don't get an email that stating that you've subscribed and I can't see you in their subscribers list. Um, so if you have and you want to see your name, um, sorry, across the bottom, um, you'll um, just leave a comment and let me know and I'll include it for the next repair video because no doubt I'm probably going to break this tomorrow morning. Uh, and have to fix something else and if that's the case it's going to be uh, probably a little while before you get it depending on what I break because um, the tires this week would probably break the bank so to speak especially if I have to order them from America um, I'm going to try and get them locally um, but if I have to order them, oh, there's no washer on that. Uh, if I have to order them from America, then they're going to take a while, and they're going to cost twenty or so dollars to send out, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. All right, so you can see um, that it is fairly strong at the moment. I don't quite know if they're leaking or not. I think they might be, or if that's just my sloppy work. Um, so yeah, I just need to pull this down. I say pull this down. Cut that off. Take the spring out and e. This one's bent. So I'm gonna need a new one of these. Shit. It'll be alright for now. It's not too bad. I'm not sure if you can see the bend or not. Uh, and I've just looked at the other footage while I've been charging the camera. And it is a little dark. I apologise about that. I don't have very good lighting in this room. And it's night time. Uh, like four in the morning, but hey. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, but it's... Been, and it probably is leaking. Because there's a lot of oil there. But that could be when I redid them the second time around, thinking that I'd made a mistake the first time. Uh, while I'm talking, I might as well drain them out. And you can see a uh, bulkhead screw that bent. Um, so, just take this off. Hope the rubber, I'm um, probably out of view again. Notice that a little bit in the other one as well. Uh, so, sorry about that. Nice, clean oil will go to waste. But it won't be a waste when I upgrade my um, shocks. I'll already have shock oil for it, which is good. And the rubber's still good and in there. It's got to be flattened out a little bit. Alright, so let's make sure it all comes out. Lovely noise. Um, I was also speaking to um, 
Geo Stealth R1, I think his name is. Uh, if I've made it wrong, it'll be written there so you can get an accurate thing, and or it'll be linked in the uh, video description as well as all the subscribers that scroll past while I was doing the other part of the repair. Um, and he said, the upgrades that he recommended for me to start with, and I know this isn't an upgrade, it's only a repair, but it's all I could afford at this stage. Uh, I really couldn't even afford to do that, but I want to run my RC car, so... Bum -bum. Um, uh, get the adjustable camber links, get the uh, aluminium hub things, these things. Uh, I'll most likely get the ones with the little grub screw I've seen um, Dark Ecliptic Art Art? Heart eh, His real name's Jason um, I've seen him put some on that don't have them and then some that do have a little grub screw um, and I think I prefer the ones with the grub screw so uh, anyway uh, put the aluminium ones of these on put adjustable links on and anacondas and I should be right for 70 miles per hour at least uh, you'll see 97.2 uh, in the last video keep doing this idiot um, 97.2 in the last video uh, if you translate that into miles per hour that's a whopping 60 um, yeah I'm a boy and I want my toys to go faster. So, um, I at least want to hit 70 and then we'll see uh, where we go from there. Oh wow, you need some decent pressure to fill these up. Alrighty. Okay, so I fill it to the top ish. There's a little bit of room there, and yes, there is going to be some waste. And push it up, pull it back down, push it up, down. There doesn't seem to be any air bubbles. At least that I can't see them. Oops, there they are. She went up too high, you idiot. Alright. Seems to be good. And then, even though it's going to be a little bit of a waste of while, wow. this is pretty strong. Uh, I don't have, I'm not very strong at the moment. So, a little bit of a waste, but I make sure that it's a little bit bubbly on the top um, from its own surface tension or whatever it's called there's a scientific term for that and then we place our lid back over the top and tighten it down and yes there's wastage but let's just see if we can get it any tighter not really. Okay. So now. That should be a lot better. Maybe. Alright. Uh, we need that on first. Then we need to slide this back on. And we just need to um, retouch like so, and we'll be done. And I've got to do it for the other four, but uh, three, 